Criminal justice is not responsible for your PC and or game files. Always monitor your own risk. I also recommend backing up your game files before following this tutorial. Thank you and enjoy the show. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the interior into the Polito Bay Police Station. Let's do it. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with another LSPFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that fight for our freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. Today guys I'm going to be showing you how to install the interior into the Polito Bay 1019 or as most of you know it the Polito Bay Police Station. Guys let's get right into this. Click that link down there for the Polito Bay interior. It's going to bring you to this page right here. This is going to be the Polito Bay Sheriff's Office Extended Interior. Shout out to Jeffrey Gamer on this tutorial. My brother. All right, guys. So what you want to do is uh, you can click download here, guys. You can go down here and you can click download on the current right here. Uh, but it's easier just to click this. And then just put it somewhere where you guys know how to get to it. This is a very simple install, guys. Once you get it downloaded, I recommend putting it on your desktop. You are going to need your main directory and your open iv okay we're going to open up our main directory first and we are going to navigate into now you should have a mod folder if you do not have a mod folder i will take you to a video right now showing you how to install a mods folder with open iv okay so if you do not have open iv and you don't have a mods folder i will take you to a video showing you how to do that okay if you do have a mods folder go ahead and click the mods folder and click update time 64 and DLC packs. Now this is the area you want to be in right here. So just minimize your directory and then open up your open IV. Now in your open IV, you are going to want to navigate from mods to update, update.rpf, common, and data. This is going to be your pathway right here, guys. Your pathway is your lifeline, okay? Uh, make sure that you go to favorites, click add to favorites, and then click add. As you guys can see, I've already got mine saved right here. Data and update.rpf takes me right to this pathway every time. Now, the reason we need this, guys, is we need to scroll down, and we're going to be using this DLC list.xml. There's a little bit of coding involved, not much. Don't let it scare you. I've got you guys, okay? With that being said, let's minimize our open IV and bring up our main directory again. Open up your Polito Bay interior WinRAR, and then you want the one that says SP for single player. Click the SP. And then you want the BCSO by Milo. Okay, that's the one you want. All right. Now, if you double click on this Polito PD right here, you will see this is your DLC pack. Okay, this is your DLC. You want to go back. Now, I've already got this installed, so I'm not going to drop it. As you guys can see, mine is, mine is right here, guys. There's mine right there. So here's what you want to do. All right. You want to grab this Polito PD, and you want to grab it and drag it and you want to drop it right into your dlc packs do not highlight anything okay make sure it's in the buffer zone all right once you're in the buffer zone drop it it will go in okay and then just leave this winrar up the way it is right here okay once you're done with that and you've got that polito pd into your dlc packs you can go back to your main main directory click refresh and then close out of that main directory then open up your open iv guys and you want to go down here to the DLC DLC list.xml. Edit mode must be on. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you a little trick here. Uh, if you want your edit mode to be on at all times, like as soon as you open up OpenIV, my edit mode is already on, okay? Uh, just like Jeffrey says. So, if you want it to be like that, go over here to where it says Tools and click Options. And then you want to be in the General tab. And right here where it says Default Work Mode, guys, yours will probably be set to Read Only by default. Just put it on edit, all right? And then once you do that, every time you open up OpenIV, edit mode will automatically be on, okay? Little uh, trick from, uh, uh, what do they call it? Um, pros and cons right there. Pros and cons, guys. <clears throat> anyway, guys, what you want to do is go to this DLC list.xml. Once you're in edit mode, go to that DLC list.xml. Highlight it, right click, and then click edit, okay? You're going to have this big old long list. You want to go all the way to the bottom, all right? 
Now, whatever your last line is, guys, your last line is going to be different than mine. But whatever it may be, it doesn't matter. Just highlight the entire line the way that I have it right there, okay? The way I have it right there. Highlight it from the end of the, the uh, whatever you call that, to the end of this one, okay? I think that's the greater than and the less than. So you want to highlight from end to end, and then you want to copy that line. Copy it, okay? And then click your cursor on the end of that line, and then hit enter one time, and then hit control V. V is in Victor. Hit left control V, and it's going to paste that line, okay? It's going to paste the same line. Not what I have, but what you guys have, all right? Now, what you want to do is you want to go up here to your, to your WinRAR, and highlight that Polito PD until it's blinking like that, until it's highlighted. Then you want to right click and you want to copy, okay? Once you got that, go back into your DLC list and highlight only the word that says Sandy PD. When you highlight this, these two words are going to light up. The one above you will be in orange, the one below you that you're lighting that you're lighting that you're highlighting yourself will be in blue. Do not highlight the forward slash. Do not highlight those. Highlight Sandy PD only. Once you've got that, guys, you are safe to backspace. All right? Then you want to hit Control V again. V is in Victor. Left Control V. It will then paste in the Polito PD. Now, as you can see, I've already got the Polito PD here and the Sandy PD, okay? Now... I want you guys to click save once you're done. I'm going to cancel because I don't want my list to be like this. It will mess it up. But you guys click save to save it, okay? I'm going to hit cancel. Now, once you save it, if you want to double check it to make sure it's right, double click on that DLC list.xml, double click it, go down, and you will see your Polito PD is right there. But yours will be at the bottom, the very bottom, okay, guys? So once we're done, close out of that. Go up here to File and Open IV and click Close All Archives. Close out of Open IV. And I'm going to take you guys in the game and show you exactly what this interior looks like. Because it's really cool and I think you guys are really, really going to like it. So I will see you all inside of LSPFR. Alright guys, so we are going to go down here and take a look at the Polito Bay interior and check it out. And uh, show you guys what this looks like. It's actually a pretty cool mod. Um, I put in the Polito and the Sandy interior. Um, and I, I really, really love them both. I think it adds realism to the game. I love the realism in LSPFR. Anything realism-wise, uh, I'm all for it. Look at those reflections, guys. All right, let's go ahead and hop out. And we're going to go into the Polito Bay PD, guys. We're going to check it out. Now, as you guys know, when you walk in here, uh, you go to these doors to go on duty. And you can still do that, guys. You can still walk the door, and you press E to go on duty just like you always would before. The only difference is now... Is that you can actually walk through the doors, okay? But you walk up the door to go on duty. You walk up the door and press E, and you can go on duty. So we're gonna go back here, uh, and we're gonna check out. Now that goes back outside. So let's check out this room over here. We got us a drink machine over here. We got us an office. Let's check out this office, guys. Now oh, this is nice, guys. Check it out. This is really nice. Look, this is like a 4K satellite view of the GT5 map. Check that out. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Big screen TV right there. Water. Guys, did you know that if you shoot the water jugs inside here, they'll actually leak? Check this out. I'm 10 <laughs> Anyway, let's go this way and uh, check out this office. It's really nice, guys. Oh, what do we got over here? Look at that, guys. How about that? Somebody in here been hitting the old uh, peace pipe. Old chief smoking totem pole. All right, guys. So y'all can see the interior is installed. Uh, it all looks really good. Like I really like the way it looks. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna check out this part right here. This is okay. And they're in there running around. We're gonna settle them. We're gonna simmer them down. This is an interrogation room right here, guys. Looks pretty cool. It's a camera in there, so yeah, we're gonna go simmer them down real quick. Speaking of that, that is our next part that we're going to. We're gonna go back to these doors. We're gonna go this way. And go into the interrogation room. Hey! Hey! LSPD! Enough! Get your hands up. Get on the ground. Alright, now stay there. Alright guys, let's go on over to this side. I believe there is a... 
jail area back here. Yeah, right here, guys. This is the jail area. This is the uh, evidence room. Right here. Look at all that contraband, guys. Look at all that contraband. Wow. Look at all this. Ammo, guns. That's pretty cool. And look at all that money. Can you imagine having that much money, guys? Crazy, huh? This is the evidence room right here, ladies and gentlemen. It's pretty cool. It looks really nice. There's a, a gun over here. I think that's a gun. Yeah, and then there's a uh, med bag. Let's go this way. And then back here, guys, there's another map of the GTA 5. Back here is your actual jail, jail area where you can bring your prisoners and stuff, your suspects. That's well, pretty cool, guys. Two cots and a toilet in here. What do you know about that? I might talk to him about getting some toilet paper here. Man, these guys need some TP. Got to have something to wipe with. You know what I'm saying? You want to walk around with a dirty butt. All right. But that is it for this part, guys. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for this interior. Um, but, yeah, guys, it looks pretty cool. I hope you guys liked it. And guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and smash that like button for me. As I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And subscribe to my second channel, CDA Farms, where I do farming simulator related content over there. We are on the road to 800 subscribers, guys. So be sure you come over there and subscribe and check me out. Uh, once we hit 800 subs, which we're like five away, uh, I'll be doing a live stream from CJ Farms. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this tutorial. Until next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another and peace out.